What's up guys, Rob Samples here. Welcome to another video. Something a little bit different for you guys today because we are talking about air show photography. Something a bit different from sports but quite similar in a lot of ways so hopefully something that you guys will find enjoyable. Stick with me through the video and I'm gonna show you what's in my bag to go photograph a big air show that I'm shooting all weekend this weekend. Let's get into it. So guys, today we're going to be talking about all the gear that I'm taking this weekend to photograph a big air show. It's called Wings and Wheels. It's down in Dunsfold in Surrey, not far from Guildford area if you guys are familiar with Surrey. It's Friday night, I've just packed up all my stuff. This air show is all day Saturday, all day Sunday, so there's a lot of gear that's coming with me. And I thought it would be interesting to show you guys what I take to shoot an air show like this. Before I get into the detail guys, don't forget to check out my other social medias. Go check me out on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Rob Samble's Photo, at Rob Samble's Sport, and at Scorchers Photog. That's a basketball specific channel. All those flashed up on the screen just now as I was talking. Hopefully you got them down, um, but don't worry if you didn't. You can also find me at Twitter, at Rob Samble's Photo on Twitter. I'll put that across the screen right now as well. Check out my website guys. Check out the rest of my YouTube. There's loads more videos. Go check them out. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the notification button. That's the little bell icon right next to the subscribe button because that lets you know every time I upload something new. If you're not new to the channel, thanks for sticking with it. I hope you've been enjoying all the previous videos. I know there's been a bit of a gap up until this video. That's because I've been having a lot of stuff going on and I'm going to talk about some of that in the next video because it includes something really exciting for you guys. But right now, let's get into it. Let's look at what I have in my bag to shoot an air show. Okay guys, so first of all we're going to look in the main case, that's the Peli case, that's the big um, like hard uh, box that I carry with me in a lot of my events. I'm going to talk you through all the gear I've got in there, so let's have a look, let's go check it out. So in the case, the main case, so the main photography gear that I'm going to be using, first of all I've got my cameras. So I've got my two Canon 7D Mark IIs, I've got one and I've got two in the back there. Those are the two main camera bodies that I will be using um, to shoot pretty, pretty much everything. I do have a third um, backup camera as well, that's a Canon 60D, that's in the other bag, which I will show you guys in a bit. Moving on from the bodies to the lenses, um, that one is just like a, an air blower and a brush in case I need to clean anything off. The lenses themselves, so I will be using three main lenses to shoot this event. First things first, the big one. This is my 300mm f2.8. I'll be using this for the majority of the um, cars and aeroplanes that are in the show because they're quite far away. So if they're quite far away, I need the 300mm. Uh, the 300mm obviously gets me a fair long way. The, the way this air show in particular works, they have a runway uh, where all the cars will be coming past on that runway. And the 300mm combined with my other little handy tool of my extender, this is a Canon 1.4 extender, which I'll be using in conjunction with the 300mm. Uh, those two combined, and then also the crop factor of the Canon 72, is going to give me a reach of, well, let's work it out, 300 times 1.4 is like, you know, well, it's, it's nearly 450 plus the 1.6 crop. You're almost talking probably like a 600mm equivalent, something like that almost. Um, it's not actually the same as shooting with a 600mm. I won't get into the detail of that right now, but it still gives me the same um, distance and reach in theory, which is going to be great. That's the main big lens, and that's the extender. The second lens I will be using, the other one over here in this um, in this front pouch, is my Canon 70 to 200 f 2.8. So I'll be using this quite a lot um, for some of the closer things, also some of the wider angle air displays, things like the red arrows and the planes that fly in groups. If you're in there with a 300mm, it's really close, whereas a 70 to 200 gives me a bit more flexibility to get more than one aircraft uh, into the frame as well. So I'll be using my Canon 70 to 200. Part of this um, task, this job that I'll be doing at the air show, isn't just to photograph the cars and planes. It's also to photograph the, uh, like the families having fun and people watching the show and the different stalls and stuff like that. So I'm also going to need something wide angle. I've got my Sigma 18 to 35 f 1.8. Um, you guys know I love this lens. I'll be using this for the majority of that uh, when I'm walking around the show. That's just a, um, a lens hood for one of my other lenses, which I'll also be taking. 
Got a couple of other little accessories in the back here. I've got some batteries in there. I've got three spare batteries in there. There will be a fourth one, it's charging. I've also got my triggers with me just in case. I probably won't need the triggers, but I've got those just in case in there. In the top section, so in the lid over here, I've got a few other accessories. I've got um, a battery pack here for my phone, some gaffer tape, uh, spare batteries down here, uh, nothing in there, and a little torch in the front here, all the different accessories that I might need um, just in case. So that is the main bulk of the stuff in the penny case. I still have another bag, which I'm going to be taking as well. So I'm going to show you guys what I have in that one too. Um, so let's have a look. Okay guys, bag number two. So this is the backpack. A few different bits going on in here. I mentioned that I'll have a third camera body just as a backup. This is the Canon 60D. Um, I probably won't actually use this unless I have to, like if one of my 7D Mark IIs was to go down or something like that. Uh, I will however be using this for some of my video stuff. It has the flip screen, which is really cool. So I use this for my vlog because I can hold it out on the thing and I can see the screen to see what's going on. So, so I'll be using that to film some of the bits for you guys because not this video because I haven't done the air show yet but another video will include some of the behind the scenes stuff and what goes on to an air show I've got a spare lens in there too that's a 10 to 10 to 20 a 10 to 22 mil lens that's my really wide angle lens the reason I said I've got my triggers I'm trying to come up with a bit of an idea where I'm going to put one of my cameras on a monopod and lift it up above the crowd with my triggers to see if I can get something really kind of epic and wide angle of like the crowd and the planes and something cool like that so that's why I've got a few extra bits of equipment that I probably wouldn't normally take with me I mentioned the monopod that's in the boot of the car downstairs but I'll be taking my monopod the weight of that 300 mil with the extender with the camera body is going to be heavy big so I'm going to have that on the monopod especially for shooting the cars because I can do the panning shots with the slower shutter speed I'm going to do a video about panning shots um, which will be cool as well other stuff I've got in here unfortunately is my re uh, wet rain gear you guys know that I hate shooting in the rain I hate shooting in the rain but I've got all my wet stuff just in case um, wet covers for the cameras my wet jacket a towel various other bits I'm geared up in case it rains because unfortunately it is supposed to rain a little bit on Sunday otherwise in the bag I've got everything I need for my laptop so I'll be sending some images live during the show uh, so I've got my laptop in the back section I won't show you that you guys know it's there I've got my card reader various other bits in the front here a camera strap my accreditation um, various things in the front pouch um, there okay guys last thing to show you I'm going to be using my think tank belt uh, this is great for these kind of shows I've done a video all about this belt before it's on a really old video so you guys will have to get scrolling through that video list if you want to go find that one but it's down there somewhere but I'll be using this belt because I'm going to have to be mobile during a lot of the show and walking around the place and this enables me to carry all kinds of stuff all my accessories in this pouch my 70 to 200 can go in this bigger one. That's just a lens drop pouch. My wider angle lens can go in there. I've also got the Spider um, holster adapter on here as well, so I can carry one of my camera bodies actually on the belt. And then my bigger one on the monopod with the 300 mil. So that'll be really useful um, and really good for me to take the stuff around. Um, something else which I don't have here to show you guys is I've got a trolley, like a fold out metal trolley. The reason for that is because this air show and I would imagine most air shows are in a massive field by a runway which means I have to walk across a massive stretch of bumpy grass to get from where I'm going to be parking my car uh, to the media centre to the um, to like the marquee where the press are. So I will load all this stuff onto that metal trolley and it means I can wheel it all across the grass in one go. Really handy accessory. I got that on eBay for like 20 something pounds. Um, really good thing to have if you guys are going to be shooting uh, an air show or really anything where you've got to go across loads of grass. So guys, I hope you found that interesting. That is what's in my bag or what's in my bags. Got that too. Uh, with everything that I'll be using to shoot an air show uh, in summer 2018. I did one of these videos a while ago and it seemed to be quite popular. So I thought I would do another one about air shows again. I think that last one was probably even two, maybe three years ago. So the gear's different since that one. Uh, go check that one out, guys. I'll link uh, to that video at the end of this video. So if you watch to the end of this one, you can go check that one out if you want to see that one. You can see how my gear compares. Let me know 
shows let me know in the comments guys if you guys shoot air shows what gear do you use is there anything here i haven't got that you guys think i should have if i'm going to go shoot an air show make sure you comment let me know always interested to hear what other people do it's really good you know that's where i learn most of my stuff from is learning from you guys watching other people's videos stuff like that really handy so please do comment let me know if you've liked this video, found it interesting, enjoyable, give me a thumbs up, guys. Hit that like button. It's really great. It means a lot more to me than you probably realise. So please do if you enjoyed the video. I'll appreciate it. That's about it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be another video coming in the not-so-distant future. I'm going to do a bit of a video about the air show itself as well. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that one. Look out for it, and I will see you guys on the next video.